So hatred and wrath, these are works of the flesh. But I want to point out here in Ephesians chapter 4, we're going to see that it's not always sinful to be angry. Because there's some people that would take this teaching, what I'm trying to teach this morning about, you know, not being angry and not having wrath and stuff like that, and take that too far of an extreme of just saying that, you, you know, it's always a sin to be angry. Because it's not always a sin to be angry. And we're going to have to see an example a little bit later of righteous anger as well as unrighteous anger and wrath that, uh, that, that's going to bring a cursing. So in Ephesians chapter 4, look at verse number 25, the Bible reads, Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Verse 26, Be ye angry, and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So it's saying, go ahead and be angry, but don't sin. So obviously... Just by that one phrase alone, it's, we, we can see it's possible to be angry and not be in sin. It's not always wrong to be angry. So we need to start to understand, well, what's the Bible talking about? It says the works of the flesh is wrath, but then it says to be angry and sin not. Well, first of all, wrath and anger aren't exactly the same. I mean, they're very, very similar, but wrath is a much more extreme form of anger. But even wrath in and of itself isn't always just sinful. I mean, God has wrath, and we know that God is not a sinner either. Now, God doesn't, isn't bound by the same exact rules that we are necessarily, but at the same time, I mean, he's, he's the embodiment of righteousness and holiness and truth. So, you know, if God has wrath, it's not a bad thing, and it's not always a bad thing to have wrath. But what, what we want to see here with the wrath, and what we're going to see with the, with the hatred and stuff is it's not something that ought to characterize your life. It's not something you ought to be known for. It's not something that you should just be like, oh man, that's an angry person. That's a wrathful person. Because there are people out there like that, right? There's definitely people out there who are just, they're just always angry about things. They're always mad at the world. They're mad about something. They're just kind of flying off the handle. They don't know how to control themselves. They can, they can just flip on a dime and just and get really, really angry. The smallest things just make them lose their top. This is what we don't want to be found. And, and look, at this. this is part of not allowing that, that wrath and that anger to consume you. Because that's the other problem is that when, you, when you're angry, it can really just eat you up and consume you. And if you hold on to it, it could destroy you having that anger just built up inside of you. You need to be able to let things go, which is why the Bible says here, be angry and sin not, and then explains how you're going to do that. How are you going to be angry and sin not? Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So here, this is equating, you know, the wrath and the anger being the same. Wrath, like I said, normally is a, is a much more extreme form of anger, anger, but here it's just saying, hey, when you're angry, don't sin by keeping that anger or that wrath with you day to day to day. So it says, don't let the sun go down upon you. The sun goes down at the end of the day, right? You get angry today. You get angry from someone doing something to you. You get angry over something. The Bible's saying, you know what? Learn to just let it go. Don't hold on to that. Don't harbor that anger and just let it fester inside of you day to day to day. You know what? Anger is a, is a, a normal, natural you know, and you know, not everything that's that that is of the you know the things that are of the flesh are not uh, good. But there are the way that God designed us. We have emotions, so it's not just all emotions bad. Just like anger in and of itself isn't just inherently bad or wrong. There is a good time to uh, to express and feel anger. Jesus Christ Himself got angry, and we can see that. So we know that Jesus Christ was not a sinner. So it's not like it's it's a sin to be angry, but it is a sin to just hold on to that just day after day, and let that anger fester, because that's going to turn into bitterness, and that's going uh, to destroy you from the inside. 